student interest is one of the best ways to engage students in the process of their own learning. It gives them a tremendous sense of academic freedom and at the same time provides them with challenges that are commensurate with their own personal readiness levels. Independent study also allows teachers an amazing window into the various strengths and weaknesses that students have on a very individualized level. Students involved in independent study also get a better sense of what their own learning strengths are, their learning modalities, their different multiple intelligences. They really just get a whole better sense of who they are and how they interact with the learning process. As educators in the 21st century, we are charged with the responsibility of educating students to be successful in an increasingly global and interconnected world. This responsibility includes educating students in the following 21st century skills as adapted from ASCD and the Partnership for 21st Century Skills. Acquire and apply core knowledge and critical thinking skill sets. Demonstrate creativity, innovation, and flexibility. Make decisions and solve problems ethically and collaboratively. Use technology to gather, analyze, and synthesize information. Exhibit positive interpersonal relationships and display leadership skills. And from conceptualization to presentation, independent study embraces these 21st century skills, preparing students for their futures. Independent study is an adventure for all ages, for all students, from early elementary, first, second, third grade, all the way through high school. During our workshop sessions, we will explore the different stages of independent study, from basic skills of independence through self-guided learning, we will explore all the different stages that we go through from conceptualizing an idea all the way through its research and through implementation, what it looks like. We'll look at teacher management tools, parent communications, uh, student organizational systems, as well as student and teacher assessment tools. Many of these are particularly focused on the K-8 population, but they do in fact provide solid building blocks for students that are doing research as well in high school.